Aquarius, welcome to the Onyx Moon Tarot. There is no gender in tarot. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Give me a thumbs up or subscribe if this resonates with you. This is something that could have happened to you already. What's going on here? You're restless? I am pulling on the sun sign of Aquarius. Check your other placements. Energy does flip. I could be pulling on cross watcher energy. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. You can negate my reading. I don't get upset about that. If it does resonate, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Let's see what we got. Grudge holder. Somebody's holding a grudge. You holding a grudge? Somebody holding a grudge against you? Hmm. Somebody's holding the grudge. Don't hold a grudge, Aquarius. Just pretend they're dead. Save so much energy. The Hermit Ghosting. Somebody ghosts and is defensive about it. If you're going to do something, stand up and own it. No reason to be defensive about it. Ah, an apology. They want to, they want to give an apology for this. Now take this energy, it, if this could be you, this could be the grudge holder. No longer feeling wounded. No longer feeling that your walls need to be up. Or they're no longer. You are no longer. Maybe you ghosted. And you were defensive about having to do that. And you want to offer an apology. Because you no longer feel that you need to keep your walls and your boundaries up with this person. Maybe you want to squash the beef. Or you don't feel that there's a beef. Time's passed. There was an issue back here that you felt you needed to you felt you needed to ghost and you were defensive about it but there was a reason you were crying you're crying over the past you were at the river of sorrow and you were mourning something from your past that you couldn't explain to the person that you ghosted you might not have been able to put it into words because it was something that caused you a lot of grief and you were mourning it. Because when people cry at the river of sorrow, that's not just a boo-hoo, boo-hoo. This is deep grief. This is beyond ugly crying. This is a cry from our soul that we have been wounded, wounded, okay? We may be able to function daily because we have to. We have to work. We have to provide. We have to look like we're humans, but when we cry at the river of sorrow, this is core wounding. Someone has done the most, someone has done damage. And nobody can tell you how long. Now I'm gonna cry because somebody just did it to me. Okay, I'm okay. I'm a Leo. Fuck them. So anyway, when you're at the River of Sorrow and you have this type of grief, nobody can tell you how long you grieve. This is something that you can grieve and carry with you for the rest of your life. But you need to understand that there are still two goblets. God is still giving you two goblets because you have to continue on with your life but you can still carry this grief with you. You may have been at the river of sorrow whenever you ghosted this person. Now, ghosting is a bitch ass pussy move. I stand on that. Stand on it. Not gonna, not gonna, you're not gonna knock me off my square on that. It's a ghost ass pussy, bitch ass pussy move. It is. But for whatever reason, you felt you needed to ghost and it made you defensive. You wanna offer an apology. Because you're not feeling so wounded now. 
but the reason you did it was because of grief and ghosting. And you were zombie-like, let's say. And you didn't think that anybody would understand. We're not going to take this, but we have justice. Could be judicial, could be karmic, and then I always have my own, which is hillbilly justice. Hillbilly justice is uh, pretty harsh. King of Cups reversed. Okay, okay. Well, is that you or is that who you were dealing with? Because the King of Cups reversed is very manipulative. All right, King of Cups is a great partner to have as an actual partner. They're very considerate, they're very loving, they're very intuitive, it's unconditional love. But when they're reversed, they're moody as fuck. Their love comes with conditions. They're not really considerate. They're very selfish. I don't know if that's who you are right now. If that's who you've turned into since you've had your wounding. Don't let that change you. Don't let that change who you are. That quirky, nerdy, multi-universe aqua baby that you are. Eight of Cups, walked away, turning around and coming back. You're revisiting, you're revisiting whomever it was you ghosted, you're revisiting this. You're coming back around to this. You're coming back around in that grudge holder. I wonder who that was. You're getting, you're getting brave, Aquarius, you're getting brave. Five of Swords. Oh, you're going you're gonna to play some mind games? You're going to do some mind fuckery with this grudge holder? Are you really? Are you really? Hmm. You feel left out in the cold by them. You do. It is at a complete standstill. It is going nowhere. Chariot is reversed. Horses on their back with their feet in the air. They can't go anywhere. You may have a cool dude or a cool chick car, but it's on its back. It can't go anywhere. But you don't want to feel left out in the cold, so you're going to have to do something to get that chariot upright. And what are you going to do when you go see this grudge holder and try to play some mind fuckery on them? What exactly are you going to do? You've already done ghosted them. You're going to try and give some little half-assed apology. You're in the King of Cups. My love is conditional. I'm a moody son of a bitch. I'm gonna fuck with your head. They're already holding a grudge. Why would you why would you do mind fuckery when what you want to do is offer them everything? This is the card of everything, okay? You do understand that. This just this it's not just the card of Ace of Cups or where you want to give them all the loving and blessings or emotions. It's not the Ace of Wands where you just want to fuck them. It's not the Ace of Swords where you just want the truth. This is the Ace of all of it. You want to lay the world at their feet. Now, why would that be? Why would that be? And the Ace of Wands. Interesting. And the Lovers. High Priestess. Six of Swords reversed. Leaving turbulent waters coming back into calm. If I didn't know better, if I didn't know my cards better, and I do, I would say that you were in a state of being out of your mind over something in your life that happened. 
and I know because I'm there right now. Somebody did something. Somebody did somebody did a ten of swords on you. That was completely unexpected. Somebody close to you did an un, did a ten of swords. That hurt you badly. And you were trying to handle it and live life and be normal. And you met somebody. And you want to come back around to the somebody that you met. Play a little game. I wouldn't if I were you. I probably wouldn't. I probably would be honest and just say the truth. I find that the truth usually works the best. And you want to, you have been thinking about a life with them. You find them incredibly sexy and mysterious. They may also be into the esoteric arts. They could be a reader. They could do other some type of divination, but you want to you want to paddle your boat and get back into the you want to get back into the shit show with them. You want to turn around. You want to turn around. Do not come back trying to play trying to play games. Don't do it. Don't play games. If you want to come back and make a go with this person that you really want to, that you find so attractive and that you want to be your choice and offer it all, say the truth. Say the truth. No juggling. No juggling. Manifest it the right way. No fucking lying and betraying. What somebody did to you, do not be coming in and doing it to this person. No damn ego. Leave that at the door. Because if you think they got a grudge now, you'll be completely shut off. That it, it, It's over before it even started. You will not be able to lay your burden down. You think you have past life life with this person? You won't you won't be able to find out. If you come in on the bullshit, they're gonna send you right back out on the bullshit. Aquarius, give me a thumbs up. I want to know how this turns out. Don't go in on bullshit. I'm telling you, do not do it. You will lose. You will lose. Do not be a jack the lad. Don't do it. Aqua, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Let me know. How this turns out, I want to know if I've hit my mark.